Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. It is Thursday. It is the 17th day of March, which, of course, a lot of people probably already know is St. Patrick's Day. But in addition to that, it's also National Corned Beef and Cabbage Day. It is Which also, also goes along with St. Patrick's Day. National Farm Rescuer Day and Absolutely Incredible Kid Day today. All of these things happening on this Thursday. Um, also coming up, we've got uh, a Dear John letter that kind of has to do with St. Patrick's Day. I posted this on uh, Monday or Tuesday of this week, earlier this week anyway. So folks have already had a chance to chime in, but it's a guy who quit drinking for New Year's. Like his resolution, he still isn't drinking, but his friends want to go out on St. Patrick's Day, and he's talking about being their designated driver, that's and he's great. wondering if that's a bad idea, if he's going to maybe start drinking again. So you can chime in if you've got some advice. Uh, you can find that at uh, facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Today may be the day to wear green, but mosquitoes are attracted to people who wear red or orange or black clothing, according to scientists. Really? University of Washington researchers looked into ways of helping us steer clear of those annoying, pesty little mosquitoes. They found that if you're looking to avoid mosquitoes, it's best to wear green yeah. No way. Or purple or blue or white. Those are the four. I wasn't aware they could even see color. Green, purple, blue, and white. You should also completely cover up uh, because all human skin appears red to them. The scientists say once a mosquito has smelled a plume of CO2 from humans' breath, they zero in on the red, orange, and black. They also enjoy other colors like aqua and cyan. Uh, see, I had a, a box of crayons that only had eight colors, so I don't uh-huh. know what that is. Um, <laughs> knowing what lures them may open the door to developing better mosquito repellents and other methods to keep them at bay. It could also help people avoid potentially contacting Zika or West Nile if you don't get bit by mosquitoes as much. So I've got a link to all that information. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant, reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. StopBox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? It turns out that the old cliche of your life flashing before your eyes as you die could be 100% true. A team of scientists were measuring the brain waves of an 87-year-old patient who had developed epilepsy. But the patient suddenly suffered a heart attack and died. Analysis showed that in the 30 seconds before and after passing away, his brain waves followed the same pattern as dreaming or recalling memories. Really? The doctor and co-author of the study said that the team, based in Vancouver, accidentally got maybe the first ever recording of a dying brain. They say, are we talking like an episode of This Was Your Life featuring mostly happy memories? The doctor said, I would speculate if the brain did a flashback, it would probably like to remind you of good things rather than bad things. But what's memorable would be different for every person, probably. So... That's really cool. That is very interesting. I think so, too. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Heidi is so excited. Hulu recently released the first official trailer for The Kardashians. Oh, I can't wait. (laughs) She's not really a fan. (laughs) Featuring uh, big movements in the life of Kris Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Kourtney Kardashian, Kendall Jenner, and Kylie Jenner. Ever since they ended E's Keeping Up with the Kardashians last summer. 
new trailer has all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you're interested, you can see it. Uh, and I guess uh, they premiere April 14th on Hulu. Biggest addition for this year's Oscars is a fan favorite category. It's a good idea. It's a really good idea. That so is a very good idea. You get to say, overdue. here's what I like. And I wonder how close that will be to what the critics like. They're just doing whatever they can to get people to tune back Probably. in. And uh, I gave them some ideas a few years ago, remember? And they didn't yeah. do any no, I'm serious. I met a guy who works for the Oscars, and I talked to him for 20 minutes with ideas. He said he loved them, by the way. I think he was just trying to trying get you to, get to quit me talking. To, uh, probably. <laughs> and daytime TV is undergoing some changes. Uh, Wendy Williams... Uh, from the Wendy Williams show is going to be stepping aside, and then there's somebody else stepping in. Uh, a show called Sherry is coming on. So, And there's more information. If you want to read it, it's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price, plus you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220, and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer, 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A travel expert says, if you're staying in a hotel... You should never book a room higher than the fourth floor. Travel expert says this. They say okay. you should also try not to stay anywhere below the second floor. So I'm going to just read between the lines here and say, according to a travel expert, the third and fourth floor are the best. <laughs> are the best. Okay. <laughs> Lloyd, uh, Let me read this here. Lloyd Figgins, a travel expert and former soldier, says the main reason for that is so you can stay between the second and fourth floors is for the chance of fire. Those staying in a hotel are usually in an unfamiliar environment, might not immediately know what to do if a fire alarm goes off. How do you even get out of here? He points out fire department ladders rarely reach above the fourth floor. Okay. Okay, no higher than the fourth floor. But why should you avoid the ground level? Yeah. Sounds like it would be the safest place to be. For a well, fire? Yeah, based on fire, pretty safe. Based on burglars, burglars not as safe. Yep. They say that is the one where uh, burglars target the first floor more often than any well, other Well, yeah, that floor. makes sense, yeah. Yeah, because they also don't have trucks that reach, you know, <laughs> right. above the first floor. Right. <laughs> um, huh. When we stay somewhere, Heidi usually wants to be on the top floor. So like, I usually do. do. Yeah, and and here's the better thing. views. Twenty two years of being married. Here's the thing I've learned: I never unpack my bags until Heidi says it's time to unpack my bag. <laughs> we'll check into a room. <laughs> She'll walk around. She'll call the front desk. We'll we'll be in a different room. I remember. I think the the record was four rooms <laughs> until we finally got the one. Probably. Yeah, it was it was in Las Vegas, and it was the fourth room. And I was like, "Can I please unpack my?" Desk? I paid for a certain kind of a room, I and I wanted that. Room. I know that was the one she wanted. I yes. was like, "All right, are we going to stay in this room? <laughs> are we staying at this hotel? I, I need a nap." All right. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Uh, scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Aloha. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? GMDVacations.com is a family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Kauai, Hawaii. Your family will absolutely love the area, and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can have your own area at a vacation rental from GMDVacations.com? Visit Hawaii with us and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. On Facebook and Instagram, online at GMDVacations.com. And it's time right now for Dear, Dear John, John Letters. Dear John. Dear John. Our Dear John Letter for today is uh, its actually pretty interesting. And I'm excited for the folks that chimed in. And I'm also excited to see what Heidi has to say. Dear John, I quit drinking for my New Year's resolution and I'm still sticking to it. I've lost weight and I've saved money. I also feel much better. I've gotten through the hardest part, but my friends want me to join them for St. Patrick's Day. We usually take off early and go bar hopping all night, then take Friday off to recuperate. I told them, I'm not going to drink, but I'll be the designated driver. I think I'll be fine. My sister told me to avoid this altogether. She's afraid I'm going to slip up and drink again. I don't think I'm real... 
Oh, what does he say here? I don't think I really had a big problem before, but it sounds like she thinks I did. I've already taken Thursday afternoon off, but I'm not taking Friday off. I will not have a hangover, so no need to do that this year. Do you think this is a bad idea for me to be the designated driver? Is that a bad plan? Signed, alcohol free for month number three. That was my name for him. What do you think of that? First of all, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, hats off to you. Um, so what do you think? Do you think uh, going out drinking with friends or going out with friends who are drinking is going to... I mean, if he doesn't... If, I mean, if he's able to quit for three months and yeah. hasn't needed rehab, hasn't needed anything like that. So yeah. apparently it's not a huge issue yeah. for and him. But I think everybody's going to be different. So, you know, there might be and, somebody listening going, that's a trigger. Don't do it. It's going to be a well, bad yeah. deal. Don't I do mean, it. If, you've, if you have an issue with it, absolutely. That's you, you don't want to put yourself in a situation like that. But it doesn't feel as though this particular guy did. So I would say go and, and be the designated driver. Make sure your friends get home safely and have a wonderful time. You'll be the one that remembers all the ridiculous stories. So here's the thing I'm going to say. I'm going but to- I will say also make sure you have a glass of like club soda with a lime in it or something like that so that everybody that you're with thinks that you're maybe having something and then they won't harass you into yeah. indulging so in something that, else. That was going to kind of lead into what I was going to say. It depends on the friends because if your friends – are going to be pushing booze in your face the entire time. Even if you are at a point where you're going, I don't need a drink. I don't want a drink. And uh, I love on here he's saying, I've lost weight and I've saved money and I feel better. All three very positive things. Yes. And I'm not saying one night of drinking is going to change all of that, but one night of drinking could turn into two nights of drinking, could turn into, hey, wow, I just wasted three months that I, you know, I, I quit drinking and I was going to do this. I was going to just stop drinking. And now I'm, I'm doing it again. And again, uh, alcohol-free for month number three. Is, you're saying that you don't think you have a problem, but you're also saying that apparently your sister thought you did. Sometimes we don't see what other people see. And if you were drinking before and to the point where you were needing to take an entire day off after St. Patrick's Day, you know, your sister might be onto something where she's going, you know what? I like the new you. I like the new you that's not drinking all the time. So uh, again... It's easy to give advice and say, here's what I would do. Everybody's different. So at the end of the day, it's really kind of up to you. Sounds like you've already kind of made plans because you've taken Thursday afternoon off. You've not taken Friday off. Um, One of the things that you could maybe do to make it a little bit easier is to even wear something that says designated driver. You know, whether it's even if it's just like a handmade button, something. So that way people won't be pushing booze on you, hopefully. Uh, or, or do you think that would make it even more of a target for people to push things? No, I would just always have a drink in my hand, yeah. but just something something non-alcoholic. that's non-alcoholic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So if you would like to chime in for alcohol free for month number three, you can do that on our Facebook page. I also want to remind you that's where you submit uh, dear John letters of your own as well. And if you want to do it there. You can if you're saying, hey, I don't want you to even know. We always keep it anonymous. We never tell you who it is. But if you're going, I don't even want John to know who this is. Uh, There is a way to submit an anonymous letter, completely anonymous. At the bottom of the page, johnandheidyshow.com, you can send an email through there. And you can just type it right into there. And you can put a fake email. You can even just put me at fakeemail.com if you want. Because I'm not going to respond to you if you don't want me to. So, uh, again, you can do that. Pretty simple. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Thursday, which happens to be St. Patrick's Day. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Moons can have moons, and they are called moon moons. M-O-O-N-M-O-O-N-S. Yeah, moon moons. Of course they are. Sounds adorable. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? One acre of peanuts produces enough peanut butter for 30,000 peanut butter sandwiches. Oh. That's a lot. 
That is a lot. Yeah. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Milk carton spouts didn't appear until the 1960s. Before that, the milk cartons had to be cut open. Oh. Yeah. And somebody came up with an idea. Like, you know what we should do? Somebody was a genius. Put a spout on this thing. That's crazy. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The word goodbye is a contraction of the words, God be with ye. Oh, I like that. Goodbye. God be with ye. Nice. And since we talked about mosquitoes earlier, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Greek name for mosquito is Anopheles, which means good for nothing. (laughs) Well, I would agree with that as well. (laughs) That's a couple of fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant, reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. StopBox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. Time now for the question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Again, still a new feature, so I'm trying to explain what we do here. Going to read a question. Heidi's going to answer it. I also post this question on social media. I don't put the answer there, but I do put the answer in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. And then we also mention the answer here on the radio. So if you happen to catch this on social media and you're going, where's the answer, dude? That's where you'll find it. I try to make sure I post that every day as well because I'd hate for somebody to be going, "Um, so what's the answer? There's the question. And here it is. 25% of people under the age of 25 have never been here. Where would that be? I'll say this. It's a business. Under the age of 25? Under the age of 25. A quarter of them. 25% have never been into one of these places of business. An insurance office? No. Close, though. A bank. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 25% of kids under the age of 25, people under the age of 25, huh. have never been to a bank. That's the question of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price, plus you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220, and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer, 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, where they're doing their countdown to April Fool's Day. See, I keep saying that, so our listeners don't get tricked on that day. Yes, you do. Yeah, all right. Uh, Weird news. Krispy Kreme Donuts teamed up with Twix for three new caramely cookie crunchy donuts they're going to take these delicious flavors to a new iconic brand level so uh the first one is the caramel cookie crunch original filled donut it's got chocolate ice donuts filled with a salted caramel filling topped with twix bar pieces and drizzled with dulce de leche oh Oh, that sounds sounds so good then there's a mini caramel cookie donut made with original glazed mini dipped in chocolate icing topped with Twix pieces and the piece de resistance, the caramel cookie crunch bar donut filled with Twix cookie bars. It's a bar-shaped donut, and it's not only filled with these, but they also have some more on top. And it's dipped in chocolate and drizzled with icing and drizzled with goodness, and I gained three pounds reading this story. But you know what? I don't think Krispy Kreme has ever steered me wrong, ever. Yeah, sounds yummy. It's weird news oh. brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Yesterday we did the first 11, now the last 12, 23 luckiest places in the world. And you can see oh, the show notes. Oh, there's even more. Yeah, there's 12 more today. Uh, Charles Bridge in Czech Republic. There's a bridge there that's supposedly lucky. The Tunnel of Love in the Ukraine is lucky. Uh, Magic Owl in France the Magic Owl of Dijon is uh, you're supposed to touch this uh, owl and you can see it's all worn down where people touched it and made a wish. Fountain of Wealth in Singapore. Um, the Two Porcellino in uh, Florence, Italy. It's a boar statue that's made out of bronze. Okay. Anyway, people rub this thing for luck. Uh, Madron Well in Cornwall, England. Wishing Tree in Hong Kong. Ferdinand Magellan Monument in Chile. 
Stump Pass Beach State Park in Inglewood, Florida. Um, Schoner Brunnen in Germany. The Guardhouse Monkey in Belgium. And the Zai High City God Temple in Taiwan. Huh. All of the details on why these things are lucky can be found in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. I thought today, being, you know, St. Yeah. Patrick's Day, good day it's to share good day. lucky stuff. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Aloha. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? GMDVacations.com is a family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Kauai, Hawaii. Your family will absolutely love the area, and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can have your own area at a vacation rental from GMDVacations.com? Visit Hawaii with us and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. On Facebook and Instagram, online at gmdvacations.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today also kind of going with the lucky theme with it being St. Patrick's Day from Jimmy Dean, the sausage maker and country musician. One of your favorite I companies. Kinda like, I kind of like Jimmy Dean. Uh, here is the, yeah, he had the song Big Bad John and my nickname has been Big John Small my whole life. So I quite often get, hey, it's Big Bad John. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm a good John. Big good John. Uh, here's the quote though. Uh, from Jimmy Dean. You got to try your luck at least once a day because you could be going around lucky all day and not even knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. See, that's See? a very good point. Oh, boy. I found out earlier this month my wife carries a four leaf clover. I did not know that. We've been yeah. married 22 years. How did I not know that? I talk don't more know often. how you didn't know yeah, that because I, I believe I've told you that. Have before. you? Well, yes. well, you told me now. All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's a headline. Pest control technician saves a drowning bird from a swimming pool. It's happened in Arizona. Aww. He went above and beyond the job to help this bird in need. Steven Gonzalez uh, was a typical day, you know, until all of a sudden it wasn't so typical. He saw a hawk splashing in a client's swimming pool. He said, I see this hawk. It's just, you know, gripping like something in the pool, like a drain or something. And he said, it's just like holding itself up. So I was like, ah, what am I going to do? Well, he jumped into action and rescued the hawk. And it was all caught on camera by a trainee. There's a kid there that was learning how to do all this stuff. He pulls out a camera. He's like, oh, hey, going to catch this on camera. The hawk seemed quite grateful, as Gonzalez said. It was very calm. It even perched on his arm for a little while before flying off. The I guess it didn't fly off. The bird is currently being looked at by Wild at Heart, a nonprofit that rescues birds. He said that he gets daily updates and hopes that they're going to be able to invite him what a sweet when they do the guy. release to let this, this bird go. But yeah, there's uh, some photos here, and then there's a video. I did not click the video, but I can see in the video, he's got his arm out, and the hawk is perched on like his elbow area. Right. So that's really, really cool. That's very sweet. Would you have done that if you saw a bird splashing oh, in the water? Of course. Of yeah, course. I would, I would hope that I would do that, but I would also be a little bit afraid because I bet that bird was freaking out. Oh, yeah. You sure know, was and very you got some scared. scary guy coming over, and he's not a scary guy. He's a super nice dude, but you don't know that. Uh, coming over and doing whatever he's doing. Uh, a big thank you to the folks that sent that to me. If you'd like to read that story, you can find it. It's at the bottom of the page in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday.